Hello and welcome to Spinnaker. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to perform a simple bake and deploy operation using a Spinnaker pipeline. But first, let's walk through the project dashboard for an example application. At a glance, this dashboard gives a perspective on what regions a set of applications is deployed into and when they were last pushed. I can also tell when the most recent pipelines were executed. This is great information to have when managing applications as they transition from test to production environments. Dashboards are fully configurable and can contain one or more applications spread over multiple accounts. This is something that was previously not possible in Azure. Let's take a look at the cluster screen. It provides a high level view over all server groups in an application, grouped by region, stack, and account. You can perform actions at both the server group and individual instance levels. These actions include instance termination, server group destruction, resizing, and even launching new server groups. Moving on to the pipeline we're about to run, it consists of three stages configured to run in parallel. The bake stage produces a machine image suitable for deployment. The deploy stage takes this machine image and creates a server group with a specified number of instances in a particular region or location. Finally, the manual judgment stage provides an opportunity for human intervention. Out of the box, Spinnaker provides more than 16 stages ranging from Jenkins to bake and deploy to fine-grained instance and cluster level operations. We even support custom script execution. Let's run this pipeline. Spinnaker supports both triggered and manually invoked pipelines. As you can see, while a pipeline is executed, you can get detailed information about what exactly is happening. If you switch back to the project dashboard, you will see that the running pipeline is shown. Looking back at the cluster screen, you can see a blue pulsating chiclet that is representative of an instance launching. This chiclet will eventually go green when the instance has passed all health checks. Our pipeline has just about finished executing. The last thing we need to do is to provide some manual input on how to proceed. Let's take a quick look back at the cluster screen to ensure that our new instance is healthy. I'm satisfied. Let's approve this execution. We're happy you've made it this far and are interested in what we've put together. Feel free to join the team in Slack or at www.spinnaker.io. We'd love to hear from you.